Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Orhan and I am a Flutter developer with experience of more than 3 years. So in our previous video, uh, we talked about the scope of this small uh, animation tutorial and created our new project. And I explained all the additional files that I included. Uh, so in the upcoming videos, we will create this beautiful and simple UI. Uh, first, let's create the background card uh, with linear gradient and we will give it some shadow so it looks more elegant. So without any further delay, uh, let's jump into the Android Studio. So uh, we cleaned our code in the last video. Uh, now we will focus on the components that we will draw. So we have a scaffold to which we have given custom light gray color. We will use body to display the main or primary content in the scaffold. It is below the app bar. So in our case, we do not need any app bar. We will work with the body. So in body, uh, we will pass a size box with a width of 330 and we will give it a height of let's say 570 um, so we have uh, drawn the size box uh, that we need um, the exact height and width we have mentioned above uh, so every uh, widget in Flutter has a child uh, in this case we will use a container because we want to uh, give a circular radius and also give a linear gradient Okay, so we have to remove the constant from the scaffold because uh, we are going to use container. Uh, so we will now give it a decoration, uh, box decoration. Uh, in box decoration, there are several things. Uh, we can give it a gradient, we give it a border, we give it a border radius. In our case, we will use border radius uh, because we want to give a circular feel to our card on the edges. Uh, so we will give it a border radius dot circular of 40. 40, it will make our card circular on the edges. To the next step, uh, we will use gradient, uh, gradient to give uh, different colors. Uh, we can give uh, different types of gradient, but we will use linear gradient. In colors, we have to pass set uh, of colors uh, that we want to use. We can use a single color, but it doesn't any uh, make any effect if we use a single color. So in gradients, we have to use more than single color so it can uh, appear on the screen. Um, so our, in our case, uh, we will use uh, three different colors. Uh, we will use uh, custom dark blue, we will use custom blue light and we will use custom medium blue color. Uh, so it looks more elegant and we can see a more progressive transition between two or more colors uh, along a straight line. Uh, so we mentioned our colors and if we reload our project, we can see that the card is in the top left corner of our uh, mobile screen. Uh, so we will wrap our size box in a center widget so it will align our card in the center of our screen. Um, so what do we need now is uh, we do not want our uh, gradient colors from uh, left to right. What we want is we want it from uh, top to bottom. Uh, so the colors are aligned from uh, top then center and then bottom. Uh, so there are two parameters uh, that we can use uh, in gradient uh, that are begin and end. So in begin we will use alignment dot uh, top center so the colors will start from the center of the card at the top and in the end we will give it alignment dot uh, bottom center uh, so it finishes at the bottom and in the center of the card so if we refresh the screen uh, we can see that now our colors are aligned from uh, top to bottom uh, which looks more beautiful than it looked from left to right uh, so what we need now is uh, we need to add uh, a shadow to our card. Uh, so for that purpose we have to wrap our code uh, inside a stack. Uh, we will wrap it inside a column and then rename it to stack so that uh, our container is inside the children widget. It's an uh, easy way to do it. Uh, we can do it uh, step by step or we can uh, do it like that. Uh, so we have to use a container, another container. Uh, in this we will use decoration and uh, give it a box section just like the same uh, previous container that we designed. We will give it a border radius, um, border radius uh, dot circular and we will give it a 40 uh, because we want it like the same as we have uh, our previous card. So now uh, we will give it a gradient. Uh, we will uh, use uh, this time we will use only two colors uh, in the gradient uh, we will use uh, the linear gradient uh, uh, and we will provide the colors as uh, we previously know that uh, we, we, we need an array uh, for gradient colors uh, because we are using more than one color so we are using custom blue light and uh, custom uh, medium blue let's say uh, yes uh, we will use custom medium blue 
so as we have used linear gradient before uh, so we know that we have to align colors uh, that we have to define the beginning and the end point uh, so in this case uh, by default it defines from left to right uh, but we will define uh, the beginning from as in our previous container uh, from top center uh, beginning will be alignment dot top center and for the bottom it will be same as before we will use alignment now we will use alignment um, alignment dot bottom center um, so uh, what do we need now uh, we need to give a shadow uh, to our card for that purpose we can use an argument of the decoration uh, that we are using box decoration box shadow in box shadow uh, it requires an array uh, in which we have to provide the box shadow uh, box shadow includes color uh, we will give it a color of custom dark blue and we can set the offset of the shadow uh, we will use offset um, so offset requires two inputs uh, we will give it x axis 0 and for y axis we will give it a 12 uh, so after reloading uh, we can see on the screen uh, that there is a beautiful shadow underneath our card um, I don't think we need uh, this linear gradient uh, let's remove it and uh, reload the project uh, yes, uh, we do not need this linear gradient, only box shadow will work. Uh, so we will complete the project in our upcoming videos. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe the channel.